Hello, welcome to Motherly Mondays. We're here today in the car doing this on the run. Alright, Mom, so this topic we're going to ask you about what do you feel parents should do when supporting their children's dreams? Like mine, wanting to be an actor, wanting to do the modeling thing. When is it too far-fetched? When should you not support? What do you think about all that? Well, I think it's a parent's job to always support their child. I mean, there's no question about it. If, you, if they want to take ballet lessons, if they want to, you know, learn how to play an instrument, if they want to learn how to cook, if it doesn't matter what they want to learn how to do, you have to give them the opportunity. You give them all your support and all your backup. Well, what about the hard jobs, like, you know, making it as an actor, making it as a singer, making it as a dancer? In the entertainment, it's a lot of people are competing for the same thing. I mean, you've told me, you know, you're good, but there's a lot of other people doing the same thing as you. Right. Well, do you think I have the potential to do anything with what I'm doing, or...? I think you have potential, but the point is, as a parent, my job is not to see that you can become a big entertainer or a well-known celebrity. My job as a parent is just to give you the opportunity for you to find out whether you can become that. You know, my, my, I need to take you places when you're younger. I take you places. I wait for you. I encourage you. I help you get the right clothes for it. Um, that's all I can do. The rest is really up to you, but I have to be there to get you there, get you there on time, teach you how to do well in job interviews, whatever I can do, but then it's all up to you. What do you feel about the parents that don't support their children's dream and then their children don't have a chance because they're not given the tools to try for it? What, should you, what would you say to the parent like that? Well, I understand sometimes parents aren't able to, it could be financially or other reasons, they might not be feeling well. They might have, you know, depression issues. I've been no, I mean like that. the parents that expect their children to be a doctor like them no, or no. don't consider acting or something like that a real job, things like that. How would you, what would you say to a parent or a child, you know, struggling with that issue? Well, I don't understand that because you're two different people. You, one may want to be a doctor, one may want to be a lawyer. And if that's what you want to be and you're a parent, go do that. But your child may want to just be a, a chef. Or may just, you know, I say just in air quotes, may just want to be a teacher. I mean, you know, how much more important than that? If that's not good enough for the parent, well, that's pretty sad. Because that's why it's called your life. Your life to decide what you want to do with it. Different things make different people happy. All right, Mom, do you want to give any final quote or saying for this week? Well, I don't know. I think I did actually have something that I thought maybe would be nice for you to think about this week. Because I really do think about, I don't know any of you out there, but I do think about you and wonder how your days are going. Well, that one guy sent you a video response and you saw that. Yeah, that was really nice. I liked him. He was a very nice man and um, gave me some good positive feedback. And uh, But as far as the coming week, maybe I would like you to start thinking, because I know a lot of you are having trouble about being accepted for who you are or being um, feeling comfortable with who you are. And I would just suggest maybe you think of, and I th might have said this one other time before, think about the one thing, and there may be more than one, but think of the one thing that you really like about yourself, and then maybe look as you're going through your week, pay attention to people, just the, the straight people, not gay people, straight people, and you'll just say, you know what, I'm so glad that I'm gay because I'm such a better worker than that person, or I'm so much kinder than that person, or I'm so much friendlier than that person, and start to be really, really comfortable in your own skin. So don't let orientation define who you are and how you how you act, pretty much. Right, just be you. It's all part of you. But, you know, I always said other people say something about, oh, well, you know, your son's gay. I guess maybe, do you have any other kind of hopes and dreams for him? And I said, you know, I always hoped he would grow up to be a really good, honest, hardworking, sensible, uh, sensitive, uh, you know, intelligent person. That's exactly what I got. I love you, Shane. Hey, we'll see you next week on Motherly Mondays, and I won't be driving. Bye.